Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Rep. And by the look on my face and the sound of my voice, you can bet what's going on. Yet, another feminist has taken to the internet and has decided, if she so wishes to, to have an article called what does it mean that most children's books are still about what boys? It means, as a black, sick woman, do I give a about that? You can assume what I was saying. I just didn't want to cuss in this first part. I'm going to say my anger because I go along. And I decided I'd read this article to you. So, glasses on. Well, I guess it's not really reading it. But, telling you how I personally felt about this article. Well, anyways, it's written by Sora Kemley. And... She's a feminist, writer, satirist, not always in that order, for the Huffington Post. And, you know, I read the one that was for parents. My mistake, considering I'm not one. And, but anyways, as the article goes along, it talks about how a boy student was talking with a girl student, another girl's classmate, who was relatively smart, and they were looking through and trying to find books, and the boy finds a book with a woman in a hoop skirt, and tosses it, you know, just doesn't really care, okay. and the girl goes to pick it up, and says, says, you know, tells her, this is a good book, you should read it. Okay, it it goes along, and this is not so much a feminist issue. It's just, anyways, and the story goes. And the boy says, "Nah, that's a girl's book." Okay, well he can tell by the cover on the book, it's a woman in her hoop skirt. So, it probably is going to be about a girl. And you know something? My first issue with the whole problem as the article goes along. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. The girl says, the little girl, the girl student says, I'm sorry if I'm rambling too much, but it's just this thing has gotten me really in knots. I know I really should be looking at stuff this late at night, so that might be part of the problem. So I'm, I, I'm all hopped up on caffeine, so my mind is in all different places but where it's supposed to be. But this article annoys me. Because as, the girl, as it goes along, watch as I get comfortable. The girl is basically telling him that that's sexist. Well, to me, how's it sexist if he's basically probably right? Because it's the book? Let me see. Sorry. Books. And I'm looking it up. If a girl in a hoop skirt in it, it. Then, uh, uh,
So, anyways, I can't find it, so I guess I can't really tell you much about it other than the article pretty much goes on about how men and women are not fairly represented in the media, which, you know, I kind of agree with because they're right. We aren't fairly men and women are not fairly represented in the community. Okay, that's just how it is. One, because um, they're called stories. It's called using your imagination, not being closed-minded. Huh? Sora? I mean, I'm not a men's rights activist, nor am I a feminist. So, I have no care about but this is media okay and on top of it, it is also written you know this is a book okay and as it goes along it talks about how there haven't been that many books that are written about women of color or a different race or something or but you know something I think it's weird that feminists actually care that much about, well, women of color. Considering we were probably the ones who took over for them in the house, you know, doing their cooking, their cleaning, their mopping, their dusting, their everything, when they didn't want to. And said, that's sexist. Okay, when we got the foot, when we get the right to vote, we black men didn't get to the 1960s. So, to anyone who's a white feminist, okay, try to look out for my benefit. Thank you for trying, but try again next year. I've had it up to here with feminists complaining about this. And not so much because of boys, not even, you know. Even I admit that I get marginalized, and yes, I wanted to see. As a kid, I sat and I watched television, I was like, Wow, a lot of white people on television. Where are the black people? Oh, and you know something? There are TV shows with black people in them. And I was proud to see it. And no. More than happy to see it. It too. But you know something? Yeah. I'm not offended by that, you know, even though she goes along to with the study and all the percentages, which, you know, I don't know if this is entirely true or not, but sometimes feminists, you know, your group is getting a little, uh, I don't want to even get into it, but anyways, she talks about how the percentage of each kind of both, you know, if you're Hispanic, if you're black, if you're Asian, if you're, you know, a white woman, even, you know, it's not, all of them are almost like zero. In fact, I, let me read it off. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay. And it's an estimated, it's a survey, okay, of children and young adult books published each year since 1985 of an estimated 5,000 books released in 2012. Only 3.3% featured African Americans, 2.1% featured Asian Americans or Pacific Islanders, and 1.5% featured Latinos and only 0.6 featured Native Americans. Yeah, now that one I think is unfairly low, but then again, maybe I tell you this, but uh, Native Americans, or what I've been hearing lately, maybe they don't want to share that history. You know, I hate to say this, but maybe sometimes books are not banned because. Oh, well, it has some violence in it. I mean, Huckleberry, Huckleberry, sorry. Huckleberry Finn is 
censored because, you know, we're trying to get rid of the N-word, and we have to start off with that particular book. And, you know, she goes on saying how women, like, like I said, how women are unfairly treating the media, and, you know, how boring they are, you know, how Wendy is, and you know something? I didn't think Wendy is boring. And I found this personally offensive because Wendy, to me, the way J.M. Barry wrote her, yeah, she read books and she read books to her siblings, as almost everyone who probably has had siblings might have done once in a while, which is sit down and read books to them. Okay? And it wouldn't have mattered if it was a girl or not. Boy probably would have to do it if he was. Okay? He's the most literate in the house. Well, I actually hate using that word because, you know, the word literate does not necessarily mean, hey, read more. It just means I can read and I can write. Meaning, whether you like, your, like my handwriting or not, I can write. That's my handwriting. I can also read, and I can happen to, happen to be able to read my own handwriting, so... Also, I guess it's something that really irks me, because here's my problem with the whole issue. Stop forcing people to read things they don't want to read, okay? Just stop it. It's not right to force anyone to do something that they don't want to do. Because frankly, what's going to do is I won't read. Which, you know, I hate saying this, it's bad enough that kids do not want to read anyways. You're going to force them to read a certain kind of book. And this is not just whether it was a boy or a girl, it's any child. I got tired of that when I was a kid. I mean, I knew what they were trying to do when they made Page Master. And I love Page Master as much as the next person. It's a good film. But it was a complete commercial for the library. That's what it was. It was fun. It was enjoyable. But I just don't think of it as a film that needed to be made. No offense to Macaulay Culkin. It was still good. But that's what it was. It was a slick way to try to get you interested in the library. Admit to it, folks. But at the same time, you know, I do appreciate someone saying something about the media not well representing black women or black men or anyone for that matter. Because, yeah, when you're readministering these ideas and it just continues to be that same mess that we had before. But, you know, what I found really irritating about this article is the person dare suggest that you talk to feminist frequency. <laughs> oh, God, why, society? Why do you have to bother me with this woman? I know she sucks. I'm aware that she sucks. But she... I, I don't understand it, all right? I just don't. I don't see any reason to want to read any book after that, when you bring up feminist frequency, because, see, here's my problem. These are people who probably don't watch any of her videos. You have to admit, it has to be someone who doesn't watch any of her videos, and recognizes a few things, like, but that's, you know, I'm going to do a separate video about that. I really am. I'm going to do a video about people who actually watch something dealing with Anita Sarkeesian. Or even agree to anything she says. Well, okay, maybe not. I'm not going to harp on it, but I'm going to read those comments. But later. Anyways, Evie out. And please follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and anywhere that you can find me. The link should be on my channel. Just click that little, click the name. And it'll take you there. Anyways, bye.